Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Old colleague Phoenix here and welcome to Subsistence. If you've never seen this game before, it is a survival game. It is pretty brutally hard and I have not played it in quite a long time. So I am concerned for myself. They give you a supply crate off the jump. Just with a little bit of ammo and stuff, but nothing too crazy. Alright. We gotta look out for fibers. That is something I do remember. I do remember how to play this game somewhat. You know, I'm going to get rid of the light shafts. Thank you. Not a big fan of that. That's fine. But I don't need the light shafts. It's it's okay. So we've got to be careful for animals. I have no idea. Whoa, there's a map. Holy crap. Alright. I forgot. That's how the map works now. It's like a GTA 5 fadeaway. So we've got to keep an eye out for plant fiber. And they're pretty hard to spot. So I'm sure plenty of you are going to say you miss some and all this kind of stuff. Well, when you're actually playing, it's way harder to spot. I think I know where we are. I think I've built near this lake before on the other side of this lake. This seems familiar, which means my original base when I first played this game was over that direction, and there was another one over that way. So I think I kind of know where I am, but he has expanded the map a lot and added a lot of new items and different things to do. So we've got to be careful. I wonder if all my old cheese strats work. Like, jump... Oh, God. We've got to watch out for the wolves. The wolves will mess us up because they will be able to... Like, we won't be able to outrun them like we can the bears. So, we've got to be careful. So, there was some old strats back in the day where you could build foundations and avoid the bears that way and be able to kill them with a gun just by shooting at them because they were stuck against the foundation while attacking it. You could just stand on top of it if you set the height high enough. I gotta remember how to make things. I need scrap metal. For that. We've got a basic axe anyway, off the jump. So let's get that all organized. Get some wood. Is it the same way where it flies out the tree? Yes it is. Where did it go? Did I catch that? I did. If you're... If you timed it right, you could pick them up before they dropped on the ground. I think I got all three of those. I did. Yeah, if you time it right, you can grab them and spam F. Just as they're flying out, and you'll pick them up. There we go. What? And different thicknesses of trees give you different results. So these thicker trees give you four logs. The other ones only give you three. Some, I think, only give you two. And then there's these really big ones that give you bait and stuff, like this. I think is the trees, those ones over there. I don't know. I know when I see them, for sure. Uh, they can give you bait and all that fun stuff. And yeah, like six or seven logs, I think, per piece per tree. For those ones. Oh, God damn. So you can kill them with an axe, but it's extremely difficult. I was pushing F. I wasn't even pushing the right button. Good on me. Actually, you know what? I don't think I was actually picking that up. I think there's an auto pickup. I think I'm a big dumb dumb. Hang on, let me see. Yeah, I'm dumb. It's auto picking it up. You could... Back in the day, there was no auto pickup. And then they changed it to have an auto pickup option, but you can have that turned off if you prefer. So I'm an idiot. Right, so our biggest threat the first couple days, that's the tree by the way right there, those ones. Um, biggest threat the first couple days are animals, pretty much. We don't have to worry about hunters too terribly much the first few days, it's just really the animals. that can mess us up. Keep an eye out too. Because they do just wander up and start just randomly wailing at you. Which is not fun. There we go, we got a tree grub. Got that on the last hit. So that's, you can use that for bait for fishing. 
or it can be eaten for a very small amount of nutrition. Tell you, it's been a long time since I've played this, so I figured now that uh, Surrounded is more or less we're waiting for content updates, not that I won't do a periodic video on that game, that's for damn sure. It's meant to be like a whole wipe of inventory and stuff coming up today or tomorrow. I think it's on the unstable build, so we'll probably do a video starting from scratch on that. But we'll uh, have to then wait for content updates for that game to be able to do too much more on it. I'm trying to see where the border lies. I'm probably going to crash my game doing this if I'm not careful. Alright. So, what do we need? A bow wouldn't hurt. We need cordage, which we make that out of the plant fiber. Which is in here. Fire starting kit, rope, cloth. There's our cordage. Yeah, I remember like fiber's just kind of a pain. So I can't say we're going to do videos on this every single day, bit of scrap metal. But I'll try to do it somewhat regularly. It'd be so nice to get this rabbit, but they get so scared so easily. Your best bet is to shoot them with a bow. Obviously, I don't have one made yet. So that's not going to be possible. Let's have a look around and see what we got in the area. Oh, medical well, ammo kit. Ammo box. Yep, take that. We want to find as many crates and boxes of everything as we can. And then as it gets drawn closer to the end of the day, we'll probably try and build up some form of shelter. I've built in this area before too. Can't believe I actually remember the map, although I did spend quite a fair amount of time playing this game, so... It surprises me, but doesn't at the same time. I feel like I spent more than enough time, even though it's been a long time, that I should memorize some things about it. Is it cheeky cheeky? You can catch the chickens. That is a possibility if you chase them and get yourself close enough before you sprint, you can you can grab them. So we got a black bear there, level one. Not exactly a high level, but could still really mess us up. I do want all the fiber that's on the road here, though, unfortunately. Just gonna be... Just gotta be careful. And hills are your biggest scare, because the animal's health bar doesn't always show through the hill. You can get surprised by an animal being on the other side of a hill, and he'll absolutely pound your shit in. So... You do have to be aware of that being a possibility. And roads are one of the best things, because they make spotting fibre super duper easy. Just so I say, like, fibre's hard to find, like, I find a bunch, but yeah, against the green grass, it's pretty hard to spot. I think this area's definitely been extended out. Yes, I didn't go back this far, I don't think. So you see these, these are locked crates. You need an actual lock pick to unlock these. See? Lock pick required. Which you craft in your base. I don't think we can craft them in here. No. You gotta craft them in your base. Uh, but they have higher tier stuff in them. You can get lucky and get one on day one. Because you do actually, you know what, you do get one for building a base. When you make the BCU, it does give you a lockpick off the bat, so we could open that crate and potentially get something really good out of it. It's just a question of do we... Oh, you know, we could set the base up against this. This prevents the hunters from attacking from one side in particular. It might not be a bad idea to do that. So we need planks and cordage. So we'll just queue up all the cordage and queue up a bunch of planks as well. That should get us going for the momento. Get us get us started at least. Uh, 
Alright. So all it is, day one, is like... Fibre and wood plank collecting. Just to get yourself a shelter of some form, you don't want to leave yourself out in the cold, you will die. There is no doubt you will be in a bit of trouble if you do that. And we really do need to try and get some meat of some kind. So maybe a chicken. Kill a wolf, potentially. We could take health damage if we try, but we could not as well. It all varies. So what you can do, if we get to this point, when you build a base, you can... At least it used to be this way. With the way the stairs work on your bases... You can have the bear run up to your front door, and he gets stuck on the stairs. And you can do it that way to try and kill a bear to give yourself a chance to get some meat and stuff from them. I don't know how we're going to go with that, but we can try it. Because we're not going to make anything big on day one. We can always expand. You can move base paths and all that kind of stuff so we don't get punished for uh, changing our base later on which is very nice of course I'd be pretty annoyed if we did though but I'm glad we that is that is one of the things the game is like at least a little bit uh, uh, not terribly punishing on is when it comes to building they're like you know Costs a lot. We're not going to make you destroy things, get half your resources back just because you couldn't make it a soon. Oh shit, that bear's getting close. No, 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 no. Don't want to mess with you, Mr. Bear. I prefer you'd stay up there. Because you shall eat my ass, and that would not be good. I would not like that. Goodbye, dear. We're getting these wood planks crafted now. We're getting closer to being able to get this base started. Uh, we need a little bit more scrap metal for the base command unit, though, as well. Which means we're going to have to at least find another crate. We're going to have to at least find another crate, or potentially just a scrap metal on the ground. One of the two will suffice. So that crates here somewhere. It's got to remember where it is, because if we can get it day one, that would be very good. So the easiest way to do it is you build a foundation, slap a wall, bang the BCU on it, and that'll give you your lockpick. That's all you need to do. You don't need to build the whole base. You just need to at least have that placed, and you'll be able to put your BCU on the wall, and that'll give you your lockpick. Assuming that is still the case. I have not checked. I'm hoping it is still the case. I'm trying to see if we can find some crates. Or even some scrap metal lying on the ground. Would also be good. Anything, really. Medicinal herbs is also very nice. You can find uh, crops the same way as you find the fibre and the medicinal herbs by just finding them along on the ground. They're different colours to signify different herbs, of course. They're not like, you know, all look the same. They do have some variants. Maybe not as much as they could, but they do have some. I see a couple crates up this way, but they look like ammo crates from here. You want the wood ones. As much as these are nice, these are not what we're looking for right now. You know. And also, as you can see, we've got slow proteins, low fruit and veg, and low hydration. We need to figure that stuff out as well. Get that worked out. Um, so they do give us an apple, and they do give us some water. They don't give us any proteins, though. I don't think, no. Aha, here's our scrap metal. And a medical bag. And we got some tomato seeds out of it. That's nice to have. Oh, there's an actually, huh. Not a lock crate right here. Interesting. Where are we? 
There's a cave over this way. Looks like it's underwater though. Oh, chicken. Now, ready? I'm gonna try and cut it off at the pass. So, you gotta be careful when you're chasing these guys. They can literally lead you straight into another animal and you'll get yourself killed. So, we gotta be careful. You will catch them over time. As you can see, I am catching up. As long as I don't run out of... There we go. See what I mean? Now, this guy will not run at me until I get really close. He will give me a warning and walk after me, but he will not go into a full sprint until I get too close. So, I'm going to ditch that idea of the chicken because I don't want to get mauled by a bear. I think I've made the right decision. As much as that is frustrating, because we were definitely going to catch that chicken, we were catching up on him. Oh, that's pretty cool. So maybe if we bang it up against this wall, then they can only tack us this way. Could work. Don't know whether this is what I want to do, but I'm thinking this is what I'm going to do. I didn't mean to make that up, eat that apple, but it's probably not a bad thing that I did. Uh... Yeah, that maybe, can we jump on it from the side? Yes, gotta make sure we can. We just want a normal wood wall, normal wood wall. We need more planks, okay, we'll get more planks. No, 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 no. I do wish you could alter the crafting speed to be that little bit faster, but I guess this is what we're gonna have to deal with for now. I don't think there's any way to speed it up in any settings or anything like that. As much as having that level of control would be nice. That is not how subsistence is done by design. It's not supposed to be an easy game or anything like that. Alright, let's just do that so we can get this wall down. For the BCU, we're going to need three more planks anyway, so we'll set them to Q at least. Yeah, we'll just Q it like that. Let it do its thing for a moment. We've got that lock crate there. As long as we do this pretty soon, we'll be able to get that. Because when, after a certain time, they will disappear and move to different spots on the map. It'll respawn. It, they'll respawn in new spots. They won't stay there forever recycle spots every day so otherwise that would be just too easy you just make tons of lockpicks and just camp it and go there every single day to the exact same spot and bang it out right like wouldn't make a lot of sense make it make it way too cheap uh, uh, and we do that I can go up yes it's making sure I've given myself enough room to go up Once I get these planks, I'm going to just pump that BCU. I'm going to check a campfire. We need sticks. Which we get from, yeah, logs. Just making sure. I didn't have to go find anything else. Like I said, it's been a while, so I may forget some things. I'm going to try not to. So even if the hunters come here, the idea is that we're going to have a roof over this, so they can't shoot down on top of the base. And it blocks off one side where they can attack me from. Hopefully make my life just that little bit less stressful if I know at least one side is uh, less likely to get smashed from. That's the idea anyway. I'm not saying that's how it's going to work in practice, but you know, a man can dream, you know, a man can dream. Uh, while we're doing this, we should be crafting stuff. Always be crafting in this game if you can be. It'll save you a lot of time later when you're running around if you've already been crafting. I should have been making the planks and stuff while we were running over finding this area in the first place. Alright, BCU on the wall. Right about there. E to open. Now, once your base is online, hunters can start to spawn. Did I get a free lockpick? I did. There's my free lockpick, as you can see here. They're not cheap to craft, so... You only get this one time. Hopefully we get some good stuff. Mm, 
not bad. Not bad. Copper fragments are nice. Not that we can do much with it. Wooden planks are nice to save some time. The protein bar is pretty good because it means we can eat one of them. That'll at least bring that up a bit. It's reloaded. It's not. There it is. Wanna make sure that's loaded. Right, so let's do that and then bang some more planks out. Wanna try and see if we can get the base done by the end of the day if we can. So they have different uh, life cycles. I think I've got a month set to 24 days, which might be a little bit long. I don't know yet, but that was the default. So I just left that as it is. So hopefully that doesn't end up being too long. But, oh, that scared the shit out of me. Yeah, in the next few days, hunters will start moving into the world. So you can avoid that by not setting up a base, but then you can also just die. So, it's really up to you. But that is, uh, they don't start moving until you set that stuff up. But we'll be fine. I'm not super worried about them, really. At least not for now. We don't have to worry about them too terribly much. Uh, let's do this. Even if we just get a little one-by-one one going, we'll be in good stead. We'll set that to be crafted. Ah, shit. We've run out of nails. That's not good. Because getting nails, unfortunately, I don't know whether this has been changed, and I really hope he has, but... I would not be surprised if he hasn't. What the fuck? Insect repellent? Um. Is that nails are only found in crates. Now, I always wanted to be able to craft them. But, I don't think that's possible. You can move it. So, there's a cave over here to the west. That's where we started. And there was a cave down there, too. I think they... I don't know whether they join up or not. I'm not sure about that. Alright, so we do still need to find some more crates. Crates are important. If we can get some more nails, then we can finish this base off today. If not, then we're not going to. I mean, to be fair, if by the second episode we had a base, I wouldn't be upset. I would prefer it to be the first, but if we had it by the second episode, it wouldn't be too bad. So this you can get if you make a pickaxe. As you can see, you need scrap metal for that. It's about all we would need. There's copper there. That's zinc, I think. And you can also find iron and stuff. It's just about finding crates. As you can see, our BSU is marked. So you can find your way back to your base easily. It's not like you're going to have to remember the exact path you went to get home. None of that silly shit. Is this the tree we hacked at earlier, or is this a different one? I'm not sure. Alright, drink some water. Uh, we're gonna eat another protein bar. No, this is not one I've hacked at. Usually it takes more time for the trees to respawn to allow you to use them again, so... I'm going to assume that this is not the same tree. So I get the snow biomish area up here. Oh yeah, this is making our way towards that cave. This is going west. But yeah, we definitely hadn't come over here yet. Oh. Why is there so many level 3 wolves, bro? So the main difference is with the levels is just their health. Higher the level, the higher health they have. And if they kill you, they do level up. So if the same thing killed you like three or four times, it'll be level six or seven, and it will just periodically keep gaining more and more health to fuck you up. So it's like you get punished for dying to the same animal. Which is a cool system. It's just like, you know, you got to seek revenge, die again. Now you've only made it harder for yourself to seek revenge because you weren't careful enough or whatever it might be. Alright man, crates seem to be pretty sparse. 
Medical crate's fine, but that's not going to give us nails like we want. Uh, yeah, not having nails is going to hurt. We'll get food and drinks out of these as well. And some berries. Oh, there's some nails. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That's good, that's good, that's good. We need more nails, though. They better be craftable nowadays. I'm going to be pissed. If I can't use iron or something to make nails. That'll be some bull and shit. See, like, I'm trying so hard to concentrate on any crates that might be out there. And I'm sure, like, throughout this episode, I've run past about 30 or 40 of them. Because sometimes they are very hard to spot. And like I said, when you're playing, you're not focused just on looking for crates. You're trying to not die to the bear over there and all that kind of stuff. So you might miss some. We went over this rock, and I swear this was not there before. Look at these. Cotton plant seeds, super important. If you can find plenty of those, you'll use them to make clothing. So they are very good things to have, those cotton plant seeds. Use it to make the higher tier armors and stuff. Super duper good. I see a wood crate. That is what we're looking for. That's usually building material. Thank God that's just a doe and not a wolf. Oh, it's good to see they haven't fixed that. When you're full sprint and you stop to open a crate, sometimes you you still lose your stamina, even though you're not sprinting anymore. That seems to still be in the game. So you got to make sure you, you kind of stop before you open a crate if you don't want that to happen. Because it can bug out like that. That is a thing. So as time goes on, we will see like little tiny campfire areas and stuff in, in some spots where the hunters have spawned in. Um, they generally spawn in kind of like a circle-ish area around where your base is built. So we'll probably see some like down in here somewhere and over there and over there. In like an entrenched circle around the base. So you just got to be careful of that. This will bump up our fruit and vegetables, which is what we want, because that's probably part of the reason why our stamina is taking so long to come back. Alright, let's go get campfire down. That is important. So we can have warmth, because it seems clear that we're not going to have a full base set up by the end of day one. That's just not going to happen for us. So to have... Um, a means to keep ourselves warm is probably important. Now, you make fire starting kits, all that kind of stuff. You add fuel to this. So you can make a fire starting kit, but you need biofuel. Otherwise, you can have matches. So you put this in the ignition source, your fuel's already in there, your ash will go in here, and then you can cook meat if you've got any in here. Which we do not have any, because we did not manage to catch any chickens. Whoa! I don't remember that being a thing. That's dope. I do wish he did some work on the aesthetics of the character. I think that wouldn't hurt. Tool belt. Buildables. You can do that. Uh, I swear there was a way to get rid of the HUD. Maybe not. Maybe not. Mm. No, it doesn't seem like it, so I'm just going to do this. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, that looks really cool, dude. That's sick. That is awesome, my dude. Oh, tab the game out, don't crash on me. Okay. So if we look in here, here's our ash. We use this for different crafting recipes. 
And as you can see, if you look here, you've got iron fragments and stuff, but you need cloth. Here you make cloth, cotton. Here you make padded cloth, more cotton and feathers. So cotton's super important resource to be able to farm over time if you can. And because this is kind of open and our foundation isn't super duper tall up, we can get attacked. That's why I was hoping to get the walls on. We just did not have enough nails to do that. We're actually short one nail and getting at least another wall. Whoa. Glass stuff I think got it edited in just before I stopped playing last time. All these. I don't remember incendiary rounds being a thing. The slugs I don't think were a thing either. Uh, that wasn't. That wasn't. That wasn't. It was just the adrenaline shot in the health kits, if my memory serves me correctly. Medical tonics were a thing. Basic antidotes were a thing. Alloy sheets. These things are awesome, protection-wise, but they're very expensive to craft. Like, getting a shotgun early or a rifle or something is super good to get early. If we had gotten iron fragments out of that instead of copper, that would have been more ideal. You know, getting a shotgun is definitely easier. We should make some more cordage. So then we can make the uh, bow. But we do need to get some chickens for feathers anyway. Otherwise we can't get any arrows. Hmm. Because you'll, you'll infinitely stack. As long as you hit your shots, you never lose on feathers. You always end up with more feathers than you do. Whoa, this is... This is a whole thing. I've never seen this before. What the fuck? Oh, this is sick. I wonder if this periodically was counting stats. So if I went to, like, a different save... It had some time on it, whether it would know. Strawberries now, I don't remember them being a thing. Specialty container, one. Base memberships, one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Purity, purify dirty water. Oh, that's right, we can get dirty water from down at the lake. It's a little bit of a run, though. I kind of wish I'd built that little bit closer to the water. The water's all the way over here. I wish I was that little bit closer. Okay, I regret not building a little bit closer to that. Our nights last a little while in this game, unfortunately. They're not, like, the world's fastest thing to get through. I should craft this while I'm thinking of it before I forget. So probably the easiest thing for us to get is like this. Because if you want to get something like rope, you need to kill cougars for uh, whatever it's called. Sinew, yeah. And that's eh, pretty, pretty scary, man. They're pretty damn quick. So you can make these fuel bricks too. But I'd rather spend the wood than the, than the, um, the fiber. Pick kelp from lakes times five. Kill a predator. Cook meat on the fire. Butcher a predator. Hunt a small animal with a bow. There is some scrap metal there shining in the light. Yes. So you can run around at night time, but you will get cold over time. As you can see, it's only one degrees. And the more, the more clothing you wear... Um, the more clothing you wear the uh, less cold you are as you can see here we've got a plus one to damage protection we've got cold tolerance as long as it's not below two and a half degrees celsius we will be fine and as long as it's not above 26.8 we won't cook so that's um yeah and this these pants only add so we've got two degrees basically and the pants add 0.5 if you look at this this adds 1.7 degrees Something like the sweater adds three. So then that would be... You could deal with it up to... 
Is that minus 0.5 or minus 1 or something? So we'd be able to be out here right now. And we wouldn't be freezing. Like, see how here it's 2 degrees? Whereas we go out here. There we go. Yeah, 2 degrees too low. So we will take health damage. Depending on what you think it may be worth it. If we could find a chicken, it might be. Just so we get some feathers. Alright. You know... It might be worth... Spending a couple bullets to knock this guy on his brain. I somehow missed his face. I think they made, uh... They made bullets a little bit weaker. I remember being able to, like, two-shot that guy. I remember, like, two shots to the head being enough for these guys. So I think there's been some changes. Either that or I'm just a terrible shot. Which, probably both. Honestly. So the liver you use for antidotes, if my memory serves me correctly... Yes. So we get mild illnesses. We've got to wash our heads to prevent infection, which I forgot about as well. Um, which means we've got to go over to the water, which is a little annoying. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot more bullets than I was hoping to spend then. Oh, fuck off. See how he, like, does that alert? Wobble, wobble. Let's see if we can go up through here, avoid alerting the bear and the wolf. The cool, yeah. I, mm, I may even move the base. Honestly, closer to the water. I would rather be closer to the water, like push it up against this rock, so we still got that back defense. But I'd rather be closer to the water for sure. I don't know whether there's anything dangerous in the water. I don't think there is. They haven't, he hasn't uh, done anything with that. So do also remember, Subsistence is a solo developer as well. And for the amount of stuff that he's done, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, he wouldn't be bad. I guess, like, we would be defended somewhat. They'd have to come around down the sides or around down the sides this way. Especially if we're pushed up, pushed up against this rock. Like, they could come from... Wrap around the rock. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the best method of it is. I think I may move over this direction. Just have the water close. Actually, I should. Before I run off, actually fill up the water container. And also, you see how I've got the wet effect on the right side? Now, if it becomes cold, and you're wet, you will become colder. And that is not ideal. So eventually, you probably want at least a couple water containers. You can make, like, uh, water collectors and stuff as well in your BCU. So, that is something you can do. I think we can eat this. I can eat this. Yeah, it gives me some fruit and vegetables. Also, another reason probably to be somewhat close to water is then I can go away. Then I can go over here. Uh, is then I can just go underwater and eat the kelp for the fruit and vegetables part, which that lake's pretty big. Probably wouldn't be too hard to get kelp on a regular basis, often enough to be able to sustain our fruit and vegetables uh, quota. So if we do this and put, oops, put this in here, you want to keep this lit. The second this igni this goes out, you have to have another ignition source all over again, which means we'd have to get biofuel, which could be a problem. It'd be a problem. And you want to keep an eye on this, because if you accidentally cook it too long, it will burn. And you will not be happy to eat burnt meat, because it will reduce your hydration. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. The water, I don't think it matters. 
I mean, boiled water just is boiled water, right? I guess it technically eventually would evaporate, but it's not going to burn. So you can see all the different things you can make in here. So what I was talking about was, if I can find it, and I remember air conditioners being a thing, that's a thing now. Is it a distiller? It's for alcohol, diving station. A life. A large storage unit. Is the water thingy. I swear, it was a water collector. Am I losing my mind, or...? Hmm. I must be losing my mind. Oh, shit. Right, that'll help with protein majorly. Good, good. Alright. Well, we're all good on pretty much everything. High quality meals will give you a much higher boost. Yeah, I think you can make like cooking pots and stuff now. Even stuff in the oven. Dying or poor health will drain your boost progress. Yeah, you can see the boost at the bottom. So you slowly gain, I think it's 5 HP every time you hit a certain boost percentage. And then when you die, you lose that. Da da da. So you can go up to a higher health and, and higher stamina rating. Which is very nice. But... Anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this first episode of Subsistence. I hope you liked the video. If you do, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Subsistence in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you'll have a lovely day. All right, peace!